we are here to present an outline of our result about nitrate sensor core 1 that appear in this issue of cell. In my opinion, plants are braver than animals because they don't run away from problems. Unlike animals, plants cannot move. So they have to deal with the harsh environmental condition they encountered, how to sense and compete for the limiting nutrient source it's one of the key challenges for plants to sustain vigorous growth. Besides carbon and oxygen, plants use root to acquire all their essential nutrient elements from soil in inorganic form. Like our town, plant roots has the ability to sense the test, that is, nutrients of the soil, and make proper adaptation. Nitrate is one of the major nutrients that plants need to detect and acquire from soil. In this study, we demonstrate that nitrate transport core 1, responsible for nitrate uptake, also functions as a nitrate sensor. For the sensing, nitrate does not need to be transported across the membrane, but instead, nitrate binding is required to trigger a conformational change and activate the signaling and then induce a transcriptional response called primary nitrate response. Another interesting question that we have addressed in this report is how a sensor detects concentrational changes. Nitrate concentration in soil varies in four orders of magnitude ranging from micromolar to minimolar in 2003. We show that CO1 is a dual affinity nitrate transporter. In the present work, we, sh we now demonstrate that CO1 uses dual affinity nitrate binding and a phosphorylation switch at the surrounding 101 to detect a wide range of soil nitrate concentration changes that leading to different levels of primary nitrate response. When the concentration of nitrate is low, Nitrate will only bind to the high affinity site, and the binding of the nitrate to the high affinity site will induce T11 phosphorylation, which will trigger low levels of primary nitrate response. When the concentration of nitrate is high, low affinity binding site will be occupied, which will somehow inhibit T11 phosphorylation and the dephosphorylated CO1 will trigger high levels of primary response. In addition, we showed that a plant-specific kinase, CIPK23, is responsible for CO1 T11 phosphorylation in response to low concentrations of nitrate. The mechanism reported here may serve as a prototype to understand how early nutrient concentration changes are detected in plants or other organisms. Thank you for your time, and we hope that you enjoy reading our article.